it was a very cold and rainy morning i struggled to get out of bed today but guess what day it is it is pillow day So today I'm working on my candy cane bench pillow and I've already started cutting out the pieces. Cutting out these pieces is very tedious work. I do not know how you quilters do it. I think I have everything cut out now except for I'm cutting the backing piece to cover the batting. And then I have to cut my applique pieces and applying the applique is actually the first step and I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me you're gonna get to follow along and see if I get it right the first time or if I make any mistakes also I think my machine has a special quilting foot but I've never used it I've never even looked at it is this a quilting foot or is it the darning plate that you use I have no idea. I have to go read my machine manual before I get started. This is where I saw in the manual about the quilting stuff. I knew I remembered something. The problem is it talks all about the quilting foot and how to use it. But my machine didn't come with one. It's something I have to buy separately. How great. So I'm just gonna have to use my regular foot and wing this thing. So after tracing my applique pieces, I'm realizing now that they're really, really tiny. I mean, look at this. There's no way I'm going to get these applied without using some form of feasible adhesive, you know, the double-sided kind that you would usually use for applique. And I searched online, I can't find any alternatives. I don't have heat and bond hair or anything similar. So... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm kind of stuck. So we called every single fabric store and craft store in Barbados trying to find an alternative to this double-sided fusible web. Not a single place had it. But there was this one craft store that said that they used to carry heat and bond. But they don't have it anymore. And I decided I'm desperate, so I'm going to check anyway, just in case they missed any. Well, what's that there? As you can see, we cleared out the store because when you find something like heat and bond, you buy all <laughs> so this is the one that you're not supposed to sew through which is both good and bad it's bad because when you're doing applique you want to make sure you stitch around your edges so that the edges don't fray however I'm on a time current so this is actually great that I don't have to sew I'm just gonna stick it on and keep it moving and it says that it's washable, so if I ever need to wash the cushion cover, that's great. So this is the Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. It says great for fabric, patches, denim, leather, suede, and appliques. I literally have 10 packs. And I could not find any pillow stuff in. So I bought two pillows. And we're going to make it work. 
Also, it's 6 p.m. right now and I've gotten into the bad habit of recording today for today. So let's hope I can get this ready up by 11.59 p.m. So that it's still on today's date. Wish me luck, guys. I just did a test piece and it looks pretty perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of my pieces. Just to make sure I'm applying the applique straight, I've used one of the diagrams, cut out the inside so that it's traced. So then I'll just take my candy cane and rest it on like this to press it down. That way I know it's straight and it's exactly how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to remove the paper backing now. And then I'm going to get my candy cane in its place and yes i'm going to iron on top of the paper i don't mind doing that at all i just need this to be straight and perfect i'm going to hold it for they said about eight seconds finished all of my applique so now I need to sew on the buttons on these two to make the holly and then it's assembly time so my holly is all sewn on and the next step is to apply all the sashin pieces all of the sides first and then the top and the bottom my side sashin is on and I'm really starting to love how this is coming together so I'm gonna get the top the bottom on a no obviously i'm going to trim it to the correct size and then after that is the borders all of my sashing pieces are on and i'll say it's looking pretty close to the photo on the pattern cover really really pleased my side borders are on so now i just have to do the top border the bottom border and then my front is officially done then i think i need to call it quits for the night because it's after 10 and i need to get this video edited and uploaded by midnight how am i now noticing this mark in the fabric when i'm almost finished the entire front that is definitely staying that way of my pillow is complete I'm so happy I changed the background fabric I absolutely love 
the way this looks all right guys i'm going to stop for the night and continue tomorrow i'm really happy with the progress i made the front is completely finished so tomorrow i just have to add the batting do the quilting and then assemble the rest of the pillow i hope you guys enjoyed sewing with me today do not forget to tune in tomorrow to see the pillow completed I refuse to put up my decorations before the pillow is finished so I still have that on my list to do. May do it tomorrow because I know for sure I'm going to complete the pillow tomorrow. Anyways I'm out I'm going to head into the shower have a nice hot bath although I'm sweating away my life <laughs> and then I'm going to head to bed because I'm really really tired it's been an extremely long day having to run around to hunt down this heat and bond. As usual don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.